Mike, the best man. Uh, I've grown up with Colin, obviously. We're all from Oak Park. I've got to know uh, Claire over the past couple of years here as well. Um, but I, going back in the day, uh, when I really got to know Jensen is actually when he first came back from college and we went out on our single days. Now, this is a long, yeah, I'm going to be very careful, very, very careful here. I tread lightly. He used to go out on Milwaukee Avenue. You guys might know it. It's a place of uh, cold beer and loose morals. <laughs> and we used to go out and the, the crew was me, Raj, and Jensen. Okay? And we Dream team, big guy. So we used to go out, we used to play pool, but uh, inevitably we got tired of staring at each other playing pool all day. So I invented a game to actually get us to talk to the girls. And the name of the game was The Gauntlet. The Gauntlet. Basically, the way that the game works is that each one of us has a turn, and, and you have to talk to the next girl that walks up, and if you do not, you have to buy, whether she's a 10 or she's a 1, you gotta buy the group a round of beers. So basically, I invented the game, it was my game. I, first girl walked up. I failed miserably. I said my line. It was terrible. She walked past, but it's all right. I'm a salesman. I'm used to rejection, so she just walks past. The next girl walks by. It's the big guy's turn. Raj. He gets up there. He says his line. At least he gets a smile. She walks by. <laughs> now it's Jensen's turn. Jensen. He's like, I got this, guys. I just graduated from the University of Vermont. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the girl walks up to him and goes, I'm going to need to buy you guys a round of beer. <laughs> <laughs> this trend continued for a couple of times. It actually got so bad that uh, Raj at one point called me up. He's like, Nooch, I'd like to go out tonight, but I'm a little low on funds. So we need to go out and play the ground like a <laughs> So eventually he got tired of buying drinks and he invented his line. I'm not saying it's a good line, I'm not saying that it worked. But basically the way the line worked was the girl walk up and just would go, I like your top. <laughs> That's it. Not saying it worked, it's a safe line, it was always a variation of that line. I like your top, I like your blouse, some, some sort of, I like your top. <laughs> So flash forward to December, or, uh, New Year's, December, New Year's Day, 2012. Jensen and Raj are at a party with a bunch of lovely young ladies who are many of you here tonight. And as, as she already said, Kelsey already said, that it's, you know, it's December, it's uh, the middle of January, there's two things that you got going on. A, Chicago is freezing. B, Chicago football is going on. So Jensen is donning his Dick of Bear sweater, as he should. <laughs> Very becoming on him. Fits well, fits well. And out of the crowd comes a pretty blonde girl who we come to know now as Claire. She walks right up to Jensen and goes, I like your sweater. The girl that gone with a Jensen. <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> Over the next couple of years, they, they immediately started dating. I got to know Claire a little bit better. She's a very pretty, smart, funny girl. Uh, but I would say that probably one of her best qualities is kicking Jensen into gear. Uh, Woo! Jensen first graduated from the University of Vermont, which is a while ago. Go Catamounts. I know a couple of you out there. Oh, oh. Catamounts. <laughs> you know, the sky was the limit for him. But that's what preferred to stay on the ground for a little while. <laughs> you know, he, he worked with me for a little while, which is great. I got to work with my buddy. But I'm pretty sure that's not the career that he chose. <laughs> Within two years of meeting Claire, he went back to school for physical therapy, graduated at the top of his class, and now has a job at Northwestern. Yeah, Colin. So for that, I want to say congratulations, Jensen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. I, I love seeing the two of you guys together. Um, you, 
really you've never made Jensen more happy than I've ever seen in my entire life. And this is just the beginning of a lot of great things to come from you guys. So, yeah. I'd like to propose a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Colin Jensen. Woo! Woo!